All right, we're gonna show you the dreaded locked down rear seat in these uh, 2013, 2014 model Ford Fusions. This is a weird thing that happens, but in essence, you lay your rear seat down, this side does okay. Lay your seat down, it'll raise back up. This one, however, gets down and won't come back up because the seat belt gets locked in place. So you have to take your rear seat out. There's two little tabs on the front of the seat uh, where the seat goes. Flip those to you, it'll pop right out. Pull this seat out because you basically got to get underneath here and take the, the T50 bolt out. Release this seat belt. It's essentially just like this one right here, but it's located up under the seat. I'll show you. And there it is right there under the seat. We've got to get our socket on that with a T50. We've just got to release that. All we're doing is pulling it out so it will release the pressure on that hinge, that, uh, that switch in there, and then we can put it back down. Sometimes these kids gotta work on their own cars. Oh yeah. Now raise your seat up. There you go. Now basically all you've done is release the tension on this belt. Now it'll go up. Now what we'll do is we will reinstall it, but there's a certain thing to pay attention to. There's a little stud right here. It's basically a uh, locator pin. And to make sure this is in the right place, that's gotta sit over that locator pin, okay? Real tight. This is a seat belt one, as tight as you can get it. Now we'll put the back seat back in. Tanner, grab the back seat. A couple of hooks right here. You're gonna get it hooked on the back and then the fronts will snap in right here. Here's that release I was telling you about that's in place. Tanner, do you see this right here? Mm-hmm. Gonna, gonna hook it in the back. Back back here on this hook. Okay. Probably have to raise up on it to get it back in there. Yep. All right, we think we got it. Now this part up here just sort of I'm not on mine right yet. There it went. This mine just snapped in. Yours in? Will it raise up? Yeah, you're not in yet. Push it to the back and then push it in. Push it down. Now, one trick that will not keep this from getting locked again but it will make it to where you don't have to take that thing off. Take this center belt, keep it right there, okay? What'll happen is if your seat comes back down and this tension gets too much and it locks up again, instead of having to remove everything down below the seat, you can reach up under there and loose this and that'll give you the, the uh, release that you need. Nobody rides back here, so that'll be safe to leave that right there. And there you go, that's how you fix the goofy back seat problem with a Ford Fusion. Pretty easy, just takes a couple of minutes, but what a hassle. Thanks for watching Tenel Custom Garage. Catch you on the next one.